Welcome back to another video guys, it's Blaze and as you probably know already the PS5 was finally revealed yesterday and we're all excited about it, I'm super excited about it. Um, the design was finally revealed yesterday too, we got, we got to see a lot of new games, I'll put a link to the press conference down below. But yeah, a lot of people love the design, a lot of people hate the design, and I'm in a camp that isn't sure about it. I think it looks too futuristic, it looks kind of like a concept console. Um, I think they just, I think they went a bit overboard on the design, but let me know if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments what you think about the design and what you think about the conference yesterday. But yeah, I thought it'd be an interesting video talking about the size comparison, comparing the PS5 to the PS4, the PS3, the PS2, the PS1, and just showing you a size comparison between all the generations. And you'll actually be surprised to know that the PS5 is actually bigger than the original PS3, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, um, let's take a look at that size comparison now. Um, thank you for tuning in. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's get into the size comparison. So here we have it guys, we're on a forum called ResetArror.com, it's a really big gaming forum and we're going to take a look at a size comparison between all the different PlayStation generations and of course how the PS5 compares to the Xbox Series X and of course the PS4 Pro. So let's get started, um, Bosky here posted a comparison between the Xbox Series X, PS5 and PS4 Pro and as you can see the PS5 is a lot bigger, it's a lot taller and I'd imagine if you flip it on its side it'll be a lot wider too. Um, um, uh, it's kind of funny actually because last generation it, it was PlayStation that got the upper hand by releasing a console that was not only a lot smaller but a lot par more powerful too um, but this time it seems like the Xbox has the upper hand um, and one thing that's quite striking is the fact that it doesn't look like you could tilt it on its side and put it in next to a DVR in your TV cabinet so that's one thing I'm worried about and a lot of people are questioning um, but the design is quite striking I quite like it this is the one with the CD drive let's go and look how it compares to the previous generation PlayStations so here we've got the PlayStation 1, it's my favourite console, well one of my favourite consoles, it was the second console I got. Here's the PS2, um, I love the design of this, the blue and the black. We've got the PS3 here, the original PS3, this was massive when it came out. It could run Linux and everything like that, it was really cool, it was like a home computer. We've got the PS4, it actually got smaller than the PS3, which was kind of bizarre. Um, and here we have the PS5, which is just gigantic, ginormous. And I don't know if that little stand underneath there allows it to lay on its side. That'll be interesting. And as you can see, it has a Type-C port. So there's a size comparison between all five of them. And we've actually got a comparison here where they're all overlaid on top of each other. And as, as you can see, the PS1 and the PS4 were roughly about the same size with maybe the PS4 just being a little bit, a little bit bigger. It then went up to the PS2, which is bigger than both of them. And the gigantic PS3. And now the PS5, which just, it just dwarfs all of them. Um, so yeah guys, that's the size comparison. Um, I'd love to know what you think down below in the comments. Do let me know, I'm very curious. Do you like the design of the PS5? Um, or do you not like it? Um, I'm interested in knowing. And what one are you picking up? Are you picking up the digital only version or the one with the CD drive? Let me know down below in the comments guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.